Hello YouTube, my name is Joe Lyman, and this is a video that I'm putting together uh, about the refined power mod. What you see here is a building that I made uh, using a single pure coal node. With it, I'm producing about 14,000 megawatts of power. Gabriel Baba, the... have you ever seen the rain? <laughs> On the bottom here, we have 25 uh, water extractors. Each of them is pumping out the full 120 into each of these lines. Uh, these lines are flowing up to about 560 me cubic meters per minute, bottlenecked primarily uh, with the consumption rate, I believe. Um, yeah, we got lots of space underneath, and yeah, just bringing them all to one side here, plumbing them straight up. All right, let's go inside and explore exactly how I'm getting so much power from just one node of 480 uh, coal per minute. Inside here, uh, we have the first step. This is part of the refined power mod where we're taking the coal in we're splitting it out into these burners. Gabriel Baba, my version of I love rock and roll is I love copyright. <laughs> um, in here you can see each of these has a coal burner on, or coal heater on the bottom. It doesn't need, it says it consumes 15 per minute, but it's actually less than that because as you can see, it's not burning at all times. Yeah, my temperature is staying pinned. I could probably uh, throttle back to even less than 480 coal per minute. And that would maintain my temperature and keep my production max, basically, which is pretty darn cool. Oh. Auto save. Um, on top of the uh, coal heater, we have a boiler. This boiler takes the fluid in from the floor, being split out, each one. Uh, this is a, specifically a Mark II boiler. It's maintaining the same temperature as the heater below it. And here you can see the consumption rate of water is 80 cubic meters. And when it's turned into steam, it expands and fills 120 cubic meters per minute high pressure steam. So water into this side and out comes high pressure steam. Here you can see it's not the nice blue but a kind of cloudy foggy looking look which is pretty cool for steam. Next we plumbed all of the um, we plumbed all the steam up first to this level as well as I believe to the level above to here. All the steam gets distributed to eat into each end of these turbines. I'm using the Mark II turbine specifically and you can kind of see like a turbocharger shape here so that's pretty cool. What happens theoretically is there's a turbine inside of here that turbine's being spun by the steam and you can kind of see it this is apparently spinning backwards which is kind of funny um, but that drives this drive shaft which drives this MV generator which I have so far there is a higher power output uh, later on in the mod which so I believe I can just swap out all of these generators and increase my power plant's uh, base uh, power production from 14,000 megawatts to something higher. Probably 30 or 40 percent higher. I'm not quite sure what the output is. But anyway, from that high pressure steam in, out through here is low pressure steam. And low pressure steam is basically useless, but if we don't bring it anywhere, it'll just build up in our pipes and eventually stop up everything. So what I've done 
is I've taken all of this low pressure steam, migrated it this way, brought it under here, and plumbed it straight up. Alright, let's take another staircase here and go to the third floor. Third floor here, we have another bunch of turbines and generators. And here you can see some low pressure steam just flowing through the pipes and being sent here. These are steam cooling towers. They can consume 80 cubic meters of low pressure steam per minute, which is a nice ratio because these turbines, they consume 80 cubic meters. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio of turbines to steam cooling towers. And that's basically your sink on all your steam. Uh, none of this, none of these cooling towers requires any power. Gabriel Baba, emo kids can jump high because they're still in the air. <laughs> Jeez, Gabriel. I, I'm going to upload this video. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm doing this during a live stream, so if you want to come hang out and watch me build more stuff, you're invited. Please click like and subscribe. Additionally, there's one more component to this puzzle which I haven't shown yet. Um, on the back side of this first floor here, we have... So, we have coal coming in on that side. And on the back side of all of these... Gabriel Baba, wait what? <laughs> I'm recording this. <laughs> on the back side of all of these coal heaters, we have a pipe coming out. And in this pipe, we have carbon dioxide. Not very high amounts, as you can see. For all of these machines back here, it's only like 62 or something. And all of that carbon dioxide needs to be sunk so it doesn't back up. And it gets sunk in these CO2 chimneys, where they can sink up to 60 cubic meters each. For this setup that I have here, you can see it keeps going off because uh, I have Baba. excess Damn amount. <laughs> uh, here, though, you can see each one of these uh, heat uh, coal-fired heaters produces 8 cubic meters of CO2 per second. And yeah. This is a very cool, very slick, and again, one coal node at 480 um, parts per minute is being fed in right here. I could probably bump up the power production even Gabriel further. Baba. Now the whole world knows I am a furry JK. <laughs> I guess they do. Um, so, yeah, this is definitely... Here you can see we're doing the full 15 a minute, but yeah, once we get down to the end of, let's say, let's go explore over these far generators, which will be operating off at a greater percentage of the time. These are still, oh, that's 15, this one right here, that, it's still only dropping down a few degrees, it gets a coal comes right back up and it maintains it. So we could probably get way more power out of this if we really wanted to play around. We could probably get from that 480 input, we could probably get upwards of 20, 25,000 megawatts. I'm not entirely sure. It would take some playing around to find out. But yeah, it's a highly efficient power source. There's a lot of uh, Complexity, especially compared to the standard build, but I highly recommend this. And yeah, as you can see, I am streaming while I'm recording. So, and if you want to participate in my streams, again, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.